Are we going to move on to um, some refereeing decisions, Simeon? Well, refereeing this weekend was we had a few, we had a few free free decisions here, and I had three decisions in my game. Nice little overlap <laughs> of the number three. Um, but we're starting off. I believe Sean's going to get pictures up of the Bristol and Harlequins game. Now, I'll let for the oh, yeah pause. <clears throat> so. In this game, we had an incident at the very end during extra time. Harlequin scored a try. Wayne Barnes heard someone on TMO picks someone up, brought it back, went and TMO'd it. Now, we had a high tackle. Well, I'm going to know why. They said it was a legal tackle. In my opinion, is that it wasn't. But, like, obviously, the referee's perception is the end of the game. But my how I thought it went is it was a high tackle. Neither player was lowered. Um, the tackle was never lowered. And he made shoulder-to-shoulder contact. I know those some of the images look like he made direct head contact. If you watch really slow replay, he hits the shoulder. And I don't even think he ever hits the head like in that there picture there. That I believe is just a shoulder. So in the new laws, that's yellow card, in my opinion. That's what we're looking at for a yellow card. And I think it should have been a yellow card to Harlequins and tried it allowed. The end of the day, Harlequins won the game still, and I think they still would have won the game even if they had that yellow card. And at the end, I think there was so much in it. Lads, what do you think of that? Briefly, I I think I'm with you. I I would have said I still would have said it did make head contact, but because his arms are wrapped, it's still a yellow card. So like my punishment doesn't change on that end. But like I did watch the game, and obviously when you have all the highlights and replays and angles, it it does look like. There was like shoulder to the jaw line area, but yeah, it, it's hard to see it. So there's not clear images. On that note, um, very quickly of law, if if your arms are still trying to wrap, but you still hit someone in the air, that's still a red card. Right. Okay. Noted. Yeah. It, 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 that's no mitigation because you're still high. So basically, if you're going to hit someone's head, that just may as well not wrap. Then it makes no difference. Well, unless you want a longer suspension. Yeah. <laughs> no, because if you apparently if you just plead, like if you just agree, you get a lesser punishment. I've heard about this. Yeah, you do. Yeah. It, yeah. I. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm not disciplinary. I would, I would say that that's a yellow card just because where it, the contact was made, but he did rap. So yeah, Sean, okay. what do you think? Yeah, no, I'm I'm with you both. I think it's always a yellow card. If you're going that high, it's you know it's nearly always a yellow. You got to just get lower, you know. And even I think, um, in real time, I think it was kind of one of those ones that if it was just a regular game down at your local club, probably wouldn't have even been a penalty. Possibly, like you know, it's one of those ones mm. where it's kind of like in between. It's like it looks like it might not have been even have been a penalty. Could have been a red card, but obviously, I mean, you said it was a yellow. And I agree, it was definitely a yellow. Look shoulder to shoulder, no complaints yeah. there. I think I, I noticed it as well from my experience reference again. I always had a few yellow cards. I had a yellow card in the first two minutes of the first game of the season. That yellow card I gave when I last refereed would have been a penalty at most. It was how the laws have changed. I mean, this guy got someone around, hit someone around the neck with their forearm in the tackle when going to route. The player lowered a bit, but he still was never low. The tackle was never low enough, so it was a yellow card for sure. But it was it was something the laws have massively changed, and I. Just Rafi, it was very interesting to do. I can't hammer this home enough. Just please don't yell card me if you ever referee one of my games when you move up. I'll be <laughs> polishing them beforehand. <laughs> um, right. So then we have Manitou Alangi against uh, Chapstick in the X the Sale game. Now, this was the decision I think was correct this weekend. Tulangi is going low, low yeah. enough, and Chapstick's also dipping. Um, but it, it's hard with the arm. It's a bit loose. It's a bit swinging. It's a very it's again referee perception. So if you said it's loose, it may be penalty yellow card. Swinging, you could even say red because it's direct head contact. But I think there is enough mitigation and lowering. But that was a yellow card and a deserved yellow card. You can't be. You can't. You've got to be. Yes, you've got to go for the wrap, but you've got to be controlled. You've got to control your actions in the game, and you can't. It's not. You look at that. His shoulders nowhere near. Him, so the arm is always swinging a bit. So I think you got it right. Yellow card. I don't. Yeah, if you if you look at that image, his shoulders not close enough to the tack uh, to the seven chapstick to make a good effective hit. So yeah. he's swinging too much of his arm to attempt to make a wrap. 
So again, I don't, can't prove intent, but it didn't seem intentional. He was trying to rap, but he just was in the wrong position, wrong time, wrong place, and he just caught him in the head, and it looked swinging. So I think yellow was the correct decision. I mean, that picture there that we're all looking at, I'm just calling that a, a classic tool, aren't you? Not just Manu, Alessandro, yeah. Henry as well. Like, they all do they it. They all do it. They all. They, I think that's just how they're taught to like put the hits in. It's like just exactly what we're looking at here. And obviously, just because of the rules, and obviously, I did hit uh, Richard Chapstick's face as a yellow card. But like again, he did go low. He did uh, obviously go for the low tackle. It's just that loose arm. And yeah, it's just typical. Welcome back, Manu. Here's the yellow card. There you go. <laughs> it was. We love to see it, Sean. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think uh, always a you know always a yellow. I think it's just a to a laggy way. Is just uh, go hard or go home, you know. So <laughs> I think that's just what he was getting himself into. There. I mean, yeah, that's it. we don't love to see it, but we love to see it. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, on to no. what the Wales Online and the, I, I found it in most reliable source going Wales Online said uh, it was just a ridiculous statement they put out going like he go to prison or something for this but it was um <laughs> it was some it was some very strange headline but it was direct shoulder to head contact look at the look at the player he's never the uh, highlanders player is never going low there is no rap there yes the blues player was lowering a bit but you've got no rap going high direct shoulder to head there wasn't enough mitigation that should have been a red card i think we can pretty much agree on that guys yeah i agree I'm yeah. I'm saying it's a red card because that is my boy. That is a Tory Black getting hit. I'm not pleased. <laughs> Just based on that alone, that is a red yeah. card. Um, but no, I, I totally agree with you. I mean, I'll give Lee Dixon his due. As soon as like the referee came and spoke to him, he went over and apologised to Tory. He apologised to the ref. Like it, it was very accepting and fair play. Like he owned up to it straight away. It was given as a yellow. I think just the way you look, obviously like, when you look at it in real time compared to highlights or replays or like uh, photos like as we're doing it is hard it's hard to make a f- full decision because obviously the referee's on pressure as well but I mean you see it as clear as day like there's arms down pretty much down at his side and the shoulder right into a Tory Black's face so I, I'd, I'd agree with Simeon it, is, it should have been a red but I mean like I said earlier in my review it didn't make much of a difference like the boys were still victorious it didn't affect the game at all so Exactly. I think briefly from this, I've said it. I said it in all my pre-talks this week. Go low, and I, I in my pre-talk I went, "We've got Welsh rugby COVID laws, and we've got world rugby making laws harsher." I was like, "You've all watched Six Nations. You've all watched how much red cards become easier now to give." Go yeah. low, and I like to, if you go high, expect a card. And I said that straight to him because that's how the laws are after. And anyone who might listen to IRF or if anyone who just you play rugby, just go low because. I've had three re- three yellows in three games first first um, weekend back. So just make sure we get those tackles low. Keep it safe. We don't want players getting concussed. We don't want players getting injured. Do it, you, I, And I said, you might want to smash that man in front of you, but do it legally and it'll be so much better. There'll be less consequences.